Hi Stampers, it's Trisha Shayla with Just For The Love Of Stamping and I'm back to share with you some projects using the pattern, the pattern party pack. Yep, this is a designer series paper stack with 48 sheets of paper and it's available to host only from now until the end of June. So you're going to want to host a party to get your hands on this. But I wanted to share with you my faves in the collection. I'm looking to do a project with something pink. And these are the ones that pop that have a lot of pink in them. Now I love, love, love them all and it is really hard for me to decide. But for this project I'm actually going to use the pink and white striped paper. So let me know which one of these is your favorite. Is yours the stripes? Maybe the leopard print? The fun diagonal stripes? The floral? And then we've got the narrow stripes, and it looks like fun rainbow colors in a pastelli. So let me know which one's your favorite. But I am going to use this one because, like I said, I am making a fun project to share with you. Now, I have gone ahead and I've made a slimline card. I did this quite a while ago, and I think I may have even shared it already on a Sunday Fun Day video. But now I need an envelope in which to give this. So I've been wanting to give it to someone, but it's awkward just to, like, tuck in a gift. It needs an envelope. So I thought I'd share with you... Um, how to make an envelope for a slimline. Now I am using an old, ooh, sorry I'm dropping acrylic blocks everywhere. I am using an old tool. Does anyone remember this? The Stampin' Up! Envelope Maker. I am never ever ever going to get rid of this. I think this is a must have in the craft room so if you're going to garage sales you don't have one you're going to want to track one down because this baby is my lifesaver. Now, you'll also notice here, though, that it is made by We Are Memory Keepers. I think that's the name of the company. Yep, We Are Memory Keepers. So I wanted to share a little tip with you, and I will post in the comments um, also just as a reminder so that you can see the picture, because I know you guys are going to be like, hey, what's that? But I wanted to show you that there is an app. So We Are Memory Keepers has an app, and it's called the Envelope Generator. Is that not fantastic? So what you do is you put in the measurements of your card and it will tell you how to use the guide on your chart. So for the card width, I am putting in the long end and on this case it's eight and a half inches long. So I'm just gonna put eight and a half. And my card itself, I believe, let me just double check, but I think it's two and three quarters. Let's see, one, yep, two and three quarters. So we're going to put that in two and three quarters, just like that. I'm going to hit done and then I'm going to generate. So it is generating it for me. I don't know if you can see that, the paper size. So it's telling me I need to cut my paper to nine and a quarter inches square and then I'm going to use the punch measurement guide at two and five eighths. So is that not fantastic? Okay. So before I use my guide, I need to cut down my paper to nine and a quarter inches. Now, I do want to know how many of you folks do have this envelope punch. Who now needs to get it after seeing that app? And who has already downloaded that app? Because I think this is going to be life-changing for you folks making custom-sized cards. Now, there is no limit to the size. Well, I guess the limit is your 12 by 12 piece of paper <laughs> because you can't cut it. Um, you can't uh, cut down anything larger. I guess unless you've got some big large paper because I know for industry die cutting and everything you can get them in longer sheets. 24 by 12 anyway. So here is my piece of paper and here is my punch board again. So I'm just going to pull out. It's got a lovely little score tool. And now I'm just going to start. So now remember that other number it gave me? 2 and 5 eighths. So I'm just going to measure this to 2 and five eighths. It's already there. I'm just going to give it a punch. And then there's a little guide. So I don't know if you saw that, but there's a little score guide that goes all down the side from the side of this point. So I'm just scoring all the way down. Now I'm not getting all the way because of course the board doesn't go that long, so I am going to do some manual folding myself. Um, so what I can do is I can just grab this I'm just going to put this over and then I'm just going to score it like this just so that it's in place. And now I'm going to line this up. I'm lining up this pointy piece of the tool to the score line and I'm punching again. 
and then I'm scoring like that. So now I'm lining that score line back up to that pointy piece and I'm punching and I'm going down that score line again. Now again, because it didn't go all the way down, I do want to make sure I fold it over and I'm going like that. So I'll bring that back. Again, I'm lining it up to the point and I'm punching. And that's my final one. You see that coming along? Oh my gosh. And then those are just the little scraps from punching the insides to help with the fold. Now I'm gonna put my board away because that's it. I just had the punches and the scores and it made the shape for me. But now I need to fold this up. I need to kind of fold along there and fold along the top. But again, those score lines are there, so I'm good. Um, and now fold over. So as you can see, the lip is a little bigger. So because this is an odd shape, I am just gonna take my paper snips and I am just gonna snip straight up. And I'll keep that because I'm sure there's some other fun project I can use this for. And then fold this over. And again, I'm just gonna take my paper snips. And I'm just gonna snip right up to there. And look at that. Voila, I have my envelope. I just need to find my seal. So I'm just gonna do this on the sides. Now I don't want to do too much because I don't want to get all of that, but I am gluing down just one of the sides, like so. And then this one I'm gonna do up here. I just don't wanna make, I wanna make sure I don't get on the inside there where it could possibly stick to my card. I'm not gonna do this part, just this part. I'm folding it over and voila. Is that not super cute? And now my, my envelope goes perfectly in every time. Hey, there's a trivia question. Do you put the pretties of your card to the back of the envelope or the front of the envelope? That is a question. I'm going to have to do a poll on that. But I'll decorate that up and I'll post a lovely final picture. But I wanted to show you that app as a tool to use if you still have that envelope maker and how fabulous this is and quick and easy it was to make this envelope. Give it a try. Thanks.